Hello YouTube, how's it going? Um, it's Airsoft Expert, and today I'll show I'll be showing you how to make a airsoft gun camera mount, so you guys can capture all the game footage you would like. So let's get on with it. Is great. It's another amazing gun boxing of an order that I off um, of airsoft GI. I'll be showing you how to remove the orange tip off of an airsoft AEG. My gun is just a GNG custom combat machine gun. I would give this sight a five out of five. A quarter of an inch screw that is one inches long, two quarter of an inch nuts, a washer that is cut in the middle, a washer that is one fourth of an inch. You'll need a blade of some sort, a metric 1.5 millimeter hex key slash allen wrench, a standard carrying handle, a hacksaw, a pair of standard pliers. You're also going to need a flathead screwdriver. First, you're going to want to take your Allen wrench and remove this tiny little set screw. After the set screw is out, unscrew this knob. After that is off, a spring and a tiny little piece of plastic should come out. Now take your flathead screwdriver and start to unscrew the screw on the side of the carrying handle. After you do that, your screw and your sight should come out. Now with a hacksaw, you're gonna wanna cut out the circle like I have here with the three indentations left. Next, you're going to want to take the razor blade or knife and just go the inside and make a circular motion and then try to put your screw in there um, until it fits. As you can see, I kind of butchered the insides and what I did is I took a razor blade and just kept scratching at that because um, it's just a circle in the middle and then it's all raised up so the screw does not fit in well so that's gonna take you some effort and stuff but um it's pretty easy just take a razor blade and just keep hacking at it until your screw will fit the final step is again you're gonna need your hacksaw you're gonna cut see where this ridge is right here you're gonna cut right before it all the way down and then on the bottom right where this piece is you're going to want to cut just before this. Here's your finished product. Now we're going to assemble it. First, take your screw and slide it through the hole. And now take your camera and screw it on. Okay, so now it's um, fully on there. And now you're going to want to take, you see this knob for the RS? Put that at the front and then take your camera and point it the same direction. Then, with holding your finger on the screw, check the bottom. Um, and as you can see, if I stood this up, my letters are facing just the regular way. And you need to remember that so your camera will, will um, go on to your screw fine. So now I'm going to take off the camera and uh, we're going to assemble it. Okay, so again, you have your screw in there. Take your um, washer, put it on there, and then take your nut and uh, twist it on there. And before you do that, make sure the letters are facing the right way for whatever yours is. Finger tighten it and then take your pliers and uh, fasten it extra tight. And remember you need to turn it to the right because it's right clockwise. Keep turning it till it's pretty tight. You believe it's tight yourself. Um, don't you don't want to tighten it too much, but um, 
that's one size. I think that's good enough. Um, now we're going to take the other nut, screw it on there all the way, and then take your um, sorry, then take your big washer and see, put it on there. Finally, put screw on your camera. And um, basically you're done, but one more step, you're going to take your nut and as you can see I screwed it up onto the base, finger tightening it, there you go. So here it is, it's looking pretty nice on my gun, here I have my um, mount, as you can see the knob is towards the front of my gun, it looks pretty nice on my gun, um, so that's all. Please subscribe, and uh, you'll be seeing a lot more video, war footage videos with this camera. Doing the best I can. So, um, thanks, guys, and have a great day.